Welcome back guys, the name's Chris, and today we got something a little bit different. You know, I know it's a Korean set, and I won't know the names of everything, but I've seen these online, and I just, they're really cheap. They're $20 booster boxes, and I just, I thought that I would try it out. Like, I don't know. The packs are really small, the box is really 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 poorly made um it looks like there's five five packs in each one or five cards in each one uh it's ex mega break cards the set is called i'm not actually sure what the set is called wonder if that is a set. I know it's probably that. Oh, it's XY Break. I don't know. I just know there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So basically it was a dollar a pack. Um is kinda what they kinda what it's it's, uh, none of the cards in here are, are worth anything. Can't figure out how to open this. Because I kind of want to, oh, the packaging is kind of like, really weird. Um, none of the cards in here are worth anything because they're so, like, mass printed and so cheap. So we have, like, the weirdest hollow card ever it's like i don't know oh well, we have another one another one another one and then there's our reverse so i guess all cards are hollow not sure i i i don't know i just like it because it's they're all shiny i'm not gonna do a review at the end just because the the packs in here just or the cards in here are just absolutely terrible not really gonna care. Well, I wanted to keep the package, but I guess I'm not going to. Because it's too hard to open. Again, this was a $20 booster box on Amazon. And it's... A lot of the cards are bent. They have like... How many cards are in this set? That's 47 out of 1, 131, and there's our reverse. It's, it's like super shiny and super polished. It's like, it feels so weird. Well, we gotta save at least one pack, just one little wrapper, just to kind of say. Togepi looks so happy. There's this, he's got, there's a Zapdos. Can't even tell if it's a rare or not. I can't tell with the numbers down at the bottom. There's that. I don't know, it's super, super weird how these, how this pack is made how these cards are made um i don't know i just i figured i'd give it a chance just because i see something at the end just because like you get so many ex and break cards from them you you're like you get at least like two or three you know a break card's a break card you know it's still something looks like it's 3d it's still kind of something that you uh I don't know, it's still rare. Artwork's cool. Something like that. I'll maybe think about sleeving it and put it somewhere just just in a like a hoax box or something. Maybe like custom cards that I get or something would go in that box. I don't know, there it's None of the designs on the hollows different either, besides the last one. And I 
guess the reverses or the rares. Something. I also think it's weird how there's only five cards a pack when a normal booster box comes with 30, 36 packs of, uh, of 10. Then again, it is $20, trying to make it the cheapest possible. So I don't know if they, like that one, I'll probably throw in a sleeve too, just because it's, it's a shiny energy, it's not that special, but like, put it in with like, a binder of custom cards, or, um, drawing cards, or cards that I make, or like the wrappers or something, I don't know. We'll think about that when the time comes. For right now, they'll probably be thrown in a tin. For right now, kind of just up and out of the way, so I can get this box out of the way. I've had this for a while, I've had it a couple weeks, and I just, I wanted to finally get it off the shelf, get rid of it, get the cards in a tin, um, see another thing back there. So it's, so that's what I'm talking about. This, I used to have this card in a level X card. And I absolutely loved him. And I used to bring it to school and show all my friends. And man, I was in elementary school when I got that. That was... We used to bring all of the cards to school. None of us knew the prices on things. None of us knew um, what cards were rare. We didn't know what the symbols meant down in the bottom. We just traded for cards that we liked. We didn't really care about shiny too much. We cared about EXs. Even if they're promos, I did find out the cards that I traded when I was little. I got a lot of promos. Um, and that's, those are currently in my collection right now. Um, and I probably traded cards that like looked like this. Like, that's actually a cool one. Like the artwork. See, like that. It doesn't look too shiny. Not as shiny as that one. I don't know. Some of these, like maybe that one, I'll... Um, all these I'll also throw in, but I'll throw it in at the top of the tin. And then when I get that binder created, I'll, you know, I'll let you guys know. Show you guys what it looks like. Because why, uh, why collect it if I'm the only one seeing it, right? That's the whole reason behind my YouTube channel. So I, I just, I want to show things off. You know, why, why open these and me be the only one to, uh, to enjoy it? Not to mention, you know, later down the line, um, you know, if I, uh, someone wants to come, oh, someone wants to come look at my collection and um, have like a collector come to my collection and reminisce of man that card I pulled like five years ago or that card I bought like ten years ago and something like that Pokemon is one of those things that I feel are gonna be like the Simpsons and not die out for a really long time and then when it does start to die out, they'll uh, they'll revamp it and bring it back up because that's it's kind it kind of died didn't die per se but in in America it, it surely slowed down probably about seven or eight years ago and then it picked right back up when they revamped the cartoons and um, started printing out better cards. Um, like the X cards and the break cards and uh, made the uh, the tournaments and stuff better the cards were more powerful changed things around a lot more I surely enjoy it this is this is like my biggest hobby I don't I don't have any others you know I try and play video games but you know I just I don't have time. 
you know, I work full time. I do this early in the mornings and try and get it done before I have to go to work. And by the time I'm done with that, it's time to go to work. Lucario. Are all the cards in here EX cards? See, see what I'm saying is I already have four of them. And we're in, we still have five packs left. So in 15 packs. So I think what the pull rate is, it's one every five packs. Is what I remember seeing on a lot of videos. Um, again, none of the cards are really worth anything. Um, there might be some Korean collector out there that sees a card that's rare and oh my god I want to buy that for 50 cents you know because he could go out and buy a booster box himself and get it I probably will buy other ones too just to kind of say that I have opened them um, the box itself I might take just the front cover off and put that inside the tin just to kind of in several years remind myself hey you open this that's what I that's why I like to keep the packages is because in several years I want to see what I've opened and how many I've opened and different things like that Coming up to our last pack, and I'm guessing that it's going to be a break card or a full art card, because we have four there, um, but we'll see, because it's every five packs is what I'm looking at, and a Rayquaza, I actually like that because we got three of, one of, three of my, it's, it's like, it's like my childhood come back, minus minus that one but like I had all three of these cards I have in um, I know the this one I have several of him in different sets but back in uh, diamond and pearl um, is when I started like collecting as a kid and that's uh, I had all of these cards in e or level X cards because they didn't have EX back then they didn't have break cards back then. So it's... I don't know. So that's pretty cool. I'll uh, throw these energies. You know, I'm probably not going to do anything with these for a while until I kind of figure out what to do with them. Put that Rayquaza on the very top. I forgot about that one. If you guys want to look at that. Um, so yeah, it's every five packs. So you get... How many did I get? I got I got five. I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I, I guess probably you get every five packs you get one and then uh and then the probably last one is you get a chance to get one of the really good cards. Um well I'd like to say thank you for watching. That was a little bit of a different video. I might buy another one in the future you know i'm not sure depends on how you guys like this one it is really cheap box so therefore it's wouldn't mind me too much but if you like that video make sure to like comment and subscribe helps me stay motivated to upload more i do daily uploads i do five packs a day i don't see a lot of people um doing five packs um so it it would mean a lot to me for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the name's Chris. Thank you.